Common County authorities are working with law enforcement in several other states to piece together a bizarre and frightening turn of events. WVTM 13's Chip Scarborough explains the threat to several prominent buildings in the area and why it's part of a much bigger crime. Coleman High School is where the first of a series of bomb threats in the area began on September 2nd, but investigators say this is more than just your average threat. It's something called swatting, where an individual makes a threat just so they can film the law enforcement response. To put fear in the hearts of children, teachers, mothers, fathers, grandparents, I mean, it's just, to me, it's unspeakable. The case quickly hit home for authorities on September 4th when they say a bomb threat was called into the county courthouse here and it only got worse from there. Terrorist threat is threatens to commit a crime of violence against a person or damage uh, property by a bomb or explosive. In addition to several other school threats, the sheriff says a caller claimed to have killed his wife and barricaded himself in their home. That also turned out not to be true. Sheriff Gentry says a juvenile is now in custody, facing charges for making those threats. I hope that this is a lesson that will be learned for other juveniles, other people. A juvenile in another state is also facing similar charges in connection with the incidents in our area. In Coleman County, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13.